Hello, I've got some books. I'm well excited because there, there are loads of them. Um, let's start with this one, I guess. How does this work? What? Ah, here we go. I thought I saw a perforated line. What is this? Oh, this is uh, this is a book by a, a, a YouTuber. This is Vino Vanitas's book. It's called Pulse. It says here, Two poets pen the passionate pulsations of the heart. Each feel throbbing experience, roused by love, loss, finding oneself, acceptance, and the desire to move on. Their art and poetry harvest the highlights of the human condition. So, it, is this co-written then? Vino and Antidote. There we go. Cool. And uh, Vino, it, oh, there's art in it as well. Quite cool, and uh, Vino is active on uh, on YouTube as well. He's actually recently started doing like this month in poetry on YouTube, which is cool. So you can see like a monthly rundown of some of the the best poets. All right, world of books. What is this? Terry Pratchett, Shaking Hands with Death. I now understand why this was so cheap. I didn't realise that this was uh, as small as it was, but it's very cute. It's a little, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's an essay that he broadcast to millions via the BBC about, uh, basically about euthanasia, really. Again, because of his, um, you know, his diagnosis of Alzheimer's. But it's a really cute little book. I'm looking forward to read that. Ah, okay. This is not a bookish thing. These are some things for me to make, like cupcakes and also to attempt uh, Yorkshire puddings in. This is Michelle McNamara, I'll Be Gone in the Dark. Obviously, you know, very popular true crime novel going around a lot at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd read it soon. What's this? This is Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematorium by Caitlin Doty. This is uh, an ARC. <laughs> Some cheeky motherfucker's been selling their ARCs on eBay. And there are pencil marks in it. But I'm still going to read it anyway. I'm sure it would be very cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, it's about someone who works in a crematorium, basically. Alright, and here we have Joe Hill, Nosferatu. Which, uh, again, I've seen a lot of people talking about. And I read... Um, what did I read? Heart-shaped box recently and enjoyed that. This actually doesn't look as chunky as I was expecting it to be. I thought it was even chunkier. So I look forward to that. How exciting. All right, those are all my books unwrapped. Hello, I have uh, parcels and stuff. Let's start with uh, this one. This is from uh, Minx Laura. So thank you very much, Minx Laura. I know exactly what it is. So she posted on Facebook that she was reading this. It's uh, Slenderman. But it's uh, by an anonymous as well. So, uh, and, you know, you got to love Slender Man. So, uh, she, she sent it to me after she finished reading it. She said it wasn't amazing, but uh, I guess we, we'll, we'll see. Uh, over here, these are some books I got from my holiday in Spain. So, uh, I got uh, this one from a car boot sales. This is Spike Milligan, Monty, his part in my victory. And uh, I also picked up from a car boot sale, Karen Slaughter. Last Breath. No, this was from a charity shop, sorry. Um, but yeah, happy with both of those. Uh, this one's like a novella, the Karen Slaughter one as well. And it seems like a good way to start. I know Harriet Rosie always sort of raves about her as well. Here we have Gemma Coral, A Pug's Guide to Dating. So, well, so basically, I don't know if you've seen any of my videos where I talked about it, but Becca and I broke up. And so, I'm, ladies, I am single. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think this must be something that I got for her years ago. Or like when we first started seeing each other or whatever. And she left it behind when she moved out. And I was like, I, I should probably read this. I might learn a thing or two. <laughs> Books. I ran out of battery, so I'd opened this one. But I already knew what it was. So this is Myth Connections. A short story collection of classical myth in the modern world. By Michael G. Munns. So uh, Munns also wrote a book called Zeus is Dead. Which was excellent. And it was all about, you know, what would happen to the Greek gods in today's day and age with the internet and social media and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I saw he had this book out as well, so I thought I'd, I'd grab it and give it a go. Then we have this priority mail from Austin, Texas. What is it? It says, uh, 
Dear Dane, thanks so much for your interest in receiving my new book. I hope you enjoy reading it. Artificial intelligence is changing the world, and this book is about that change. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is Byron Reese, The Fourth Age. Smart robots, conscious computers, and the future of humanity. And this is, again, it's a topic that I'm pretty interested in. Um, I have a client, Emmanuel Fombu, who wrote a book called The Future of Healthcare. And a lot of that was about, um, you know, AI and machine learning and stuff. So I'm pretty stoked about this. That's pretty cool. Right. And then I, th I guess this is the last one. And I think I might know what it is then. I think it might be Captain Corelli's Mandolin. This is Captain Corelli's Mandolin by Luis de Berniers. Yeah. Tiny print. Bloody hell. But then I can read this and watch the movie as well. Well, anyway, that is the end of my October uh, haul. It's actually now November the 6th, 7th? I don't know. What is the date? Hang on. November the 8th. Uh, so I've dropped the ball a bit on this one. Um, I am getting back to some more bookish content soon though. Had a bit of a nightmare where um, some footage got messed up. This happened, that happened. So um, yeah, bummer really. But um, yeah, I'm about to actually film part of my November wrap up. Uh, November, the I'm actually about to film part of my November haul now because I have a bunch of books here to open. So that's exciting. And uh, soon I should have an indie read along update. I've got uh, more bookshelf tours to do. I'm going to do a combined wrap-up for September and October. Yeah, I think that's right. And uh, we'll go from there and hopefully catch up. But anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.